Uh, retail, let's get to that. Adobe. Uh, they say it's going to be a real strong year for online shopping. That would be a really strong holiday shopping season. U.S. retail guy, Bert Flickinger, is with us. Now, I don't know why Adobe covers this, but they say it's going to be up 14.8%. That's a big number. Sixteen billion, more than the combined sales of Gap, Banana Republic, Old Navy, pl on land, plus their land-based sales. So National Retail Federation stored all-time record from what you just referenced. Record low unemployment, uh, more, more people working, higher wages, and the tax cuts, $125 per month this month and next month in extra purchasing power. So National Retail Federation said family of four spending over $1,000 on holiday, first time ever. It's a blockbuster holiday season. I mean, the stars are aligned for a real record here. Stars are aligned, and Kiplinger is reporting record holiday hiring, breaking over 700,000 new jobs for the first time. Those people working holiday jobs tend to spend 25 to 50 percent of what year he makes in every store. So that's going to drive retail even further Ooh. and some permanent full-time hiring for next year, too. But aren't the retailers having a very hard time in this tight labor market getting the help they need for the holidays? I understand that some are offering more hours even to part-timers, so that they can qualify for health benefits. More hours, health benefits, uh, free Thanksgiving turkeys, uh, coupons for hair salons, everything to get workers, retain workers, and, uh, and paying record amounts of money with the benefits for the first time you referenced. Give me one big winner, the biggest winner of all the retailers. Who's the biggest winner this holiday season? Your favorite Amazon yep. online <laughs> and uh, with uh, Jill Millet, our head of research, is reporting record amounts of toy displays in Amazon-owned and operated Whole Foods stores to fill the gap of Toys R Us, Fox Business News exclusive, and Macy's, which has full line of uh, Lego and all the Mattel and Has Hasbro and Gun toys too. So Macy's seventh largest retailer online, and from Herald Square to across America, Macy's a uh, uh, big surprise winner as well. Okay, but Amazon. A Amazon, a Am Stand Am up. Amazon Stand clearly. Am Amazon's annual sales growth every two years is the equivalent of what it took Target over 100 years to build in total sales. Astonishing. Now, I've got a bone to pick with you. Well, I've got a bone to pick with America. <laughs> um, we spent, America spent, four, look at that, $480 million on pet costumes for one night, Halloween. $480 million. What, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Do you really think I'm that's so okay? I mean, really, that's you, okay? Are you the fun police? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you understand what $480 million yes, is? Half a billion is? dollars. It's nearly almost. a half billion yes. on pets, their costumes, for one night. And it's joy. F fastest growing segment in retail, <laughs> 3.1 million dogs, puppies, and kitties adopted this year. Next show uh, for ne next Halloween pet costumes for you, Liz and Susan. We're going to bring in Reggie and Bo, the Flickinger <laughs> rescue pets from son Nick and wife Ashley in their pet costumes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You think this is legit? <laughs> it's very legit. A half billion on. Look, I think adopting pets is a wonderful thing. I've got two dogs of my own. I love them to death. But p costumes? A half billion a year? Do you think maybe our values are a little skewed here? The <laughs> you should you should have seen everything from Amsterdam <laughs> Avenue to downtown across to Los Angeles, Chicago down to Dallas. Pet costumes ubiquitous because people have been postponing having children and buying houses, as you've reported well. So children are, are pets are the de facto children, and more money is spent per pet in the U.S. now than per person. So oh please, wow, unbelievable. Stuart, you know how much time we spend in in stores. <laughs> Petco and PetSmart both reporting their number one category for October was pet costumes. <laughs> I just oh, love, great. We just love how mad you're this getting. This is wonderful. Is so okay. <laughs> Thank you, Flickinger. We could do more of these stories in the future. But we, we'll bring yeah, the rescue pets in I so go you can see them in their costumes. You're killing me. You're killing me. <laughs>